playground dangers. We need to do everything we can to be proactive. What's next for lead fencing surrounding St. Louis schools? Good evening, I'm Brent Solomon. Mouths of contaminated chain link fencing around several St. Louis public schools are now close to coming down. In fact, St. Louis public school leaders have been tackling the contaminated fencing problem for some two years now. New tonight, Robert Townsend talks to key players behind a multi-million dollar project to make sure our children are safe. Shenandoah Elementary School in South St. Louis is on the list of public schools where lead-based chain-link fencing will soon be history. Missouri State Representative Lakeisha Bosley is glad about it. Just making sure that we keep everything up to code and updated. The school is located in Bosley's 79th district. Clearly, it's a very important issue because we don't want our kids to go home um, potentially with lead poisoning. More than six miles of chain link fencing around the public schools will be removed. Five in your size I team first reported the problem two years ago. On Tuesday, okay, the Board of Education voted to award to contracts to remove lead contaminant chain link fencing and replace it with what it calls safe steel fencing. It's a vinyl coated uh, poly fence. Um, that is more environmentally friendly and safer for the children. Collinsville-based environmental consultant Jeffrey Faust and SLPS's operations team are leading the $2 million project for the school district. State and federal funds will pay for it. Super excited. Uh, this has been a priority for the district for the last couple of years. The contaminated chain link fencing will be removed at 21 elementary schools in the St. Louis Public School District. Groundbreaking will begin here at Columbia Elementary in two to three weeks. A long-awaited move school officials, politicians, and other community leaders hope will ensure safer school grounds for students. We need to do everything we can to be proactive. Robert Townsend, five on your side. And all of that fencing is expected to be replaced before the new school year begins in August. 